Hey guys, welcome. Walesa here from Alive Refurbish. In this week's video, we're going to be transforming this desk. We're going to be stripping wood, cutting some wood, and also using some paint that just came out to the market. So stick around to watch this makeover. <laughs> We went thrifting the other day and this piece caught my eye. I love the modern style. I normally don't buy things that are painted because I know what pain it is to strip some paint, but I thought the style of it was so appealing that I just decided to take on the challenge. The person who previously painted this didn't even bother to cover the previous hardware holes. And I'm gonna start by stripping the drawers. I'm gonna save the details of how these different chemical strippers perform for a different video. Is something that you can expect to see in the next few weeks so we're going to start by just being very generous in the application of the chemical stripper and normally i wait about 30 minutes to let the chemical stripper do its thing just a quick reminder to protect your hands and your eyes no matter what brand of chemical stripper you're applying something that you can do to prolong the activation period on the chemical stripper is to cover it up in plastic and that's what I did. After removing the previous finish, I washed these drawers with some mineral spirits and this is how they look after I was all done. Today I'm sanding the entire desk using a 120 grit. The previous finish was pretty flaky and it was actually coming off really easily so I pretty much found myself stripping this entire dresser except the body was sanded down while the drawers and top were stripped using the chemical stripper. I'm not sure what type of paint the previous owner used on this piece, but what I know is that I kept finding myself having to vacuum again and again between sanding one area and the next to keep not just the piece clean, but also the area around it. Once again, my surf pep sanding system came to the rescue and helped me sand these legs really, really fast down to bare wood. After I'm done sanding this piece, I'm gonna be washing it with this TSP substitute. And while my piece is drying, I'm gonna be cutting some wood because I want to add some depth and texture to the front of the drawers. Do you guys remember how at the beginning I show you the front drawers? The person who added the new handles didn't even patch the old hardware holes. So the drawers have one too many holes now. I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be cutting a bunch of different pieces of wood and first of course I measure the height of my drawer and I cut these pieces to size I'm gonna be gluing them to the front of the drawer to cover all those hardware holes Once I was done making all of my cuts, I just double check the measurements on each drawer, making sure I had cut enough pieces and that this design was center. And then I made a marking using a pen, put some glue within those markings and started adding the wood pieces. We're gonna let the glue dry overnight. 
Today I'm gonna be applying three coats of my go-to white primer bin with shellac. Remember that I like to sand in between coats to make sure that my finish is nice and smooth. After I was done applying my primer, I waited 45 minutes before I came back to sand with an extra fine sanding paper. After I was done sanding, I wipe all the dust off and now my piece is ready for paint. I'm going to be using Lily Moon paint. It's a brand new paint in the market. First impression right away is how creamy and smooth the consistency is. I found it to be thinner than other paint brands or most paint brands that I use. So I didn't have to add much water to spray it. And to be honest, my prayer was behaving a little funky when I started spraying the paint. I decided just to let it go to test the paint and see how it would self-level. And let me tell you, I was pretty impressed with the self-leveling properties of this paint. I am not surprised how good this paint is being that Jari, the owner, has been refinishing furniture for a very long time and she really knows her stuff. So she nailed it out of the park with this paint. The coverage was amazing. And guys, I did it again. Yes, in between my crazy schedule, running kids to soccer, being a mom, I forgot to record myself applying the top coat. But you know which top coat is my go-to and my favorite. It is this general finishes high performance flat. I applied three coats of it. Finally, I added this hardware that I found at Home Goods of all places. And to refresh the inside of the drawers that needed to be conditioned, I used this furniture tonic from Y Sowell. You guys have seen me use it in the past. I just love how it smells and the job that it does. Let's take a look at how this piece used to look and this is how it looks now this color is definitely my color <laughs> it's just the tan with the pink undertones so moody so modern and that wood that was added covered up our problem areas the hardware just made this entire piece look so classy i love it let me know what you think of this makeover in the comments for watching i will see you guys next week in the meantime feel free to watch any of my other videos also don't forget that just like there is hope for these pieces of furniture it doesn't matter how tough things get there's always hope for you one final reminder don't forget to subscribe and if you already have please turn on your notifications so that you don't miss out next time i post a video until next time